actually finished. <laughs> so, um, if I... <laughs> so, uh... I think it's, uh, a finished thing. Well, almost finished. I'm gonna have to make make it run a bit faster because, you know, it's... it's... Can you say just once again what it is? Because maybe people only see this part three. So, basically, it's it's just like a cars which are trying to go down this road here while avoiding hitting the walls of the road and they try to go as far as they can <laughs> so right now it's pretty boring but but i i hope that eventually it will, it will get less boring uh, so it's been running for seven generations so each generation uh has 640 frames in it chicka, chicka, chicka. So they die quite quickly, but then there is a new generation born every time with um, random DNA, right? Uh, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna show you this genetic genetic algorithm. So the first thing that so so actually the so actually Can we show on the screen what I've quickly done but before we started recording is I just made this a little wider and I also the highway made, is a little but I wider. also made the cars start a little bit more spread out so I also okay and uh, you've got six cars at the moment so I got six time. cars at the moment so it's not really doing very well so far okay we'll check back in a minute so <laughs> <laughs> and the, the the most interesting thing is that the cars are actually smart. They're making their own decisions, you told me. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? They're seeking. They have their own spots which they're seeking. <laughs> but how do they... How did you make sure that they are moving forward and not... Like, some of them are just moving back and forth? Actually, they're, they are moving... They're gonna... And the, uh, yeah, that's really the... A mistake in the way that I designed this. Okay, so the so the genetic so actually first I made some adjustments in the core file. I've also uh, so I made a copy function which is make, makes me an exact copy of the of the thing and it also so, so it returns a new card. Wait a second, what is it? Oh yeah, the copy function. But and I and I pass in its brain. And so that means that you're gonna have to write a little if statement in here. If it's If it has a brain. If it has a brain. If if it's if a brain is passed in, I just want to copy that brain and put that into its brain. Otherwise, I just want a random brain. So I just <laughs> Yeah. I also put in a mutate function, which just mutates it. And, and, and this is just a mutation function that I'm gonna show you in a second. Okay, now a genetic algorithm. So this, so this is just a, a genetic algorithm file. Classic. Calculate a fitness, normalize the fitness. Uh, go to the next gener generation. And this is actually just a function to mu mutate a matrix. So I'm gonna show you what this is. And this is a function to pick something out of a uh, a list, but the probability of you picking it is depending on the fitness. So that's uh, okay. So calculate. Okay, so when we calculate the fitness, so this is just the fitness function. It's it's just. Uh, I don't know if they're better fitness functions. Uh, there probably are, <laughs> but I just picked. By the end of its life, uh, this stage course thing is because when they die, I need to actually store a copy of them just for the genetic algorithm, and so I, so I don't still need to. And so yeah, so I just want the the fitness. Oh, do you know what? There's a mistake in here. This shouldn't be cars. This should be saved cars. So the total is zero. 
to start with, and I just total up all the cars' fitnesses, and then I divide each of the cars' fitnesses by the total, which is going to squash all the values between 0 and 1. So it's normalizing the fitness. And not only squashing the values between 0 and 1, it's also making it such that all the values add up to 1, which is what I want. So I... Oh. All right. So what are... What, what what what's the what's next? Because you wanted to, you said I want to make it even better. I think I I know. Uh, and and now over here, so so calculate the fitness, normalize the oh, fitness. Oh, you want to say more about the genetic algorithm? The next, how do I make the next generation? Okay, so I first make a new population, which at this moment is empty. Then I look at, and then I look at. Okay, and then I do this the size of the population number of times. So I pick a parent, which which does this pick one function, and then I just copy that parent, and then and then I mutate it, and then I uh, the the new population contains that child, and then I just want to say cars equals new population. So that's so that so. So the cars, whatever it is, it's gonna now equal that new population. And it's gonna do that over and over and over again, every 640 frames. Okay, mutate. The, this is just a mutation function, which is just taking this is just some code that like if a random number between zero and one just so happens to be less than 0 0.01, so a hundred so this is just a function that says, hey, 1% of the time, tweak that value a little bit. <laughs> so plus equals a Gaussian random number. So just uh, so 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 I add a Gaussian random number it's, uh, to, to it, to mutate it. And then I return that new matrix. And then I actually, that, so, so this is, this is basically just how, how the library works. That you have to when you mutate it, you actually have to pass in a mutation function, which is this is the mutation function that I'm passing. Okay, let's see if this still works, even if I put saved cars in here, not actually cars. Um, it's not working. I don't see any cars. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, because yeah, when this counts to six forty, then it's gonna. Uh, then it's gonna the, the, the next the next generation. Ah, is gonna start, that's true. So. Yeah. So you, every time you have to wait until six forty. Looks like it's still working. Yeah. <laughs> so should we maybe put this version uh, of the code on GitHub, and then if you want to like make a better okay, version, uh, then you work on it. Let's let's actually just so one way to make a better version of this is just to increase the population size. Right now I only have six cores every generation. Oh, now everything died immediately, but that doesn't matter. So I'm going to just uh, increase the population size from 6 to 12. So now there should be 12 cars in every de generation. Okay, so it's already starting to get a little more clutter. And you can see that more cars are starting to live on to the... Uh, are starting to live, live on the side of the track by the end of the generation. Huh! And so you can see that that target spot is moving. Yesterday when we were filming, the think function didn't work. <laughs> and now it does. But then you found out it was a very simple mistake, right? Yeah, I... I, I basically, I edited that think function a bit. And do you know what it is? It's a very simple bug. It isn't the stop pause.x, the stop pause. No, it, it, it wasn't the stop position.x. It was the stop boss.x and the same for the y. Because it kept saying that it couldn't read the x. So this is it? <laughs> or do you have more plans for the cars? Uh, let's actually, so let's actually put even more cars. <laughs> uh, okay, everything died.
but let's let's actually make this a little more faster. A little faster, sorry. Uh, let's try 48 cars. Every 48. Actually, no. Let's 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 try. This first, is gonna crash. Let's try 24 cards first. Yeah. Per generate. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> but look, one of them went all the way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but it died. Why does that happen? Because the probability is greater. The more cards you add, that that one of them will do fine. Oh, do you know this is not working? Pop size equals six. No, twenty-four. And I want to put pop size here. Let's just run it now. So now there should be twenty-four cars on every generation, not just the first one. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah, a bug. Yeah. yeah. Great. All finished in one day. All finished? Okay, so, so it works smoothly, nice and smooth with uh, 24 cars. Let's try 48 cars. Okay, let's run it. Whoa! <laughs> a few of them reached the end of the road. Yeah, so... This is so much fun. Okay, this, this, the whole thing is online in Simon's replit. You can find the description. The <laughs> so a few of them made, made it. Uh, okay, let's try 60. 60 cars per generation. Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's a cool blast of cars! <laughs> Beautiful. Kind of appeared. Actually, I liked it more. When I just had twelve or something, when I just had a yeah, few because cars to, because then, because then the optimal, uh, otherwise the optimal one is gonna just kind of appear. So it's otherwise they look like bacteria in the intestine. <laughs> Let's put this on GitHub. <laughs> 